guys are a fun bunch. You're, ho you're horny for the jokes tonight. Oh, baby. I'm trying to repurpose that word, horny. I think it's a good word. We're wasting it. We're only using it for sex right now. That's dumb. Let's put it to work, you know? I think it's a good midway point between want and need, you know? Because sometimes, sometimes I want a meatball sub. And other times, I'm horny for a meatball sub. It's different. <laughs> Me and my buddies from back home, we're trying to rub with the ball. We're trying to make corny an everyday word. We're out at a bar having a good time. My buddy knocks over this guy's drink. The guy's very upset about it. He grabs my buddy and he says, oh, we're going to fight. And my buddy goes, oh, horny for a fight, are we? <laughs> that dude wanted a fight. He wasn't horny for it. He closed the bar town. He got out of town. <laughs> Y'all like going online? Yeah? Y'all go on the web? Y'all surf the web? Yeah, dog. They got, they got everything on there. I love it. I go on this page, Wikipedia. They taught me everything I know. They're always hitting me up for $3. I don't got it for you, Wikipedia. I don't got no goddamn $3 for you, Wikipedia. I found out recently on Wikipedia I'm not afraid of sharks anymore. I'm pretty excited about that news. Sharks, they only kill five people a year. I'm not afraid of them. I dare one to walk in here right now. Bring his whole crew. I'll stomp them all up. I'm not afraid of sharks. I'll tell you who I am afraid of. Hippos. These guys. 4,000 bodies a year on them. And we treat them like a bunch of neon overeating goofs. Sharks get a whole week. I get why they're ornery. I get why they're lashing out. You know what hippophobia is? Guess. Somebody take a guess what that might be a fear of. It ain't hippos, I'll tell you that. It's a fear of horses. They gave away the hippos' domain name on them. When would this ever come up, a fear of, of hippos? We'll give, we'll give that away. We'll figure it out on the back end. They kill 4,000 people a year, and they're vegetarians. That's how spiteful hippos are. Have you ever seen a vegan break a horse's neck? No. That'd be a very off-brand message. They're hunting us for sport. They're sick of us. I don't blame them. Sometimes I go online, people are nasty to me. Believe that? Little old me. What I ever do? Rude to me. Some, sometimes I have to I have to block him. I have to go. You don't get access to the good stuff anymore. <laughs> Did it recently to a fella. He found my my email address. Sent me a calendar invite <laughs> to suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> you little rascal! <laughs> You're gonna bring that to my doorstep? <laughs> oh, Bubba! I knew exactly what I had to do. I hit him with a maybe attending. <laughs> That dude's gonna have to look over his shoulder the rest of his life. <laughs> you guys seen these uh, these billionaire jerks? You believe these guys? <laughs> you believe these guys walking around with a billion dollars? You got a lot of nerve, brother. Give me some of that. Make me have a little piece of that. A lot of these billionaires are getting divorced, and they are getting divorced. They are being super divorced. Kanye, he got divorced. He's living in a football stadium now. He thinks that's. He thinks that's quite interesting, and that's just a billionaire version of living at the YMCA, bud. You're just being divorced at a grander scale. A lot of these guys are getting divorced, and they're like, I'm going to space. You'll never get me there, Beverly. That's a wild boy move. After all you've done on this planet, you think you get a spin-off planet. You think... You think you get to young Sheldon your way to Mars? <laughs> and I don't think so. And here's my plan. Is there's like nine of them? Let's just grab them. <laughs> right? There's like 50 of us here. We can just grab them. Most of them, <laughs> most of them got pretty weak upper bodies. We can just grab them, throw them in the ocean. Who's going to stop us? We'll commandeer their spaceship. We'll pull up like a gang of Triple H's with sledgehammers over our shoulders. And we'll treat those spaceships like they're mothers against drunk driving cars parked in front of the high school on prom week. I'll go to town on that spaceship. I'll treat that thing like a Street Fighter bonus round. And I'll sidekick that thing. 
And I think the problem is this class of billionaires didn't get the, the crap kicked out of them. <laughs> there was these nerds that came up in the early aughts, and then we just we let nerds get a little too big for their britches in the early aughts. We were letting them on TV. Who let who let these Melvins on TV? I turn on the TV to watch Beefcakes and Babes. I don't I don't want these Melvins on the TV. Get them out of here. <laughs> And there were several points in the early aughts where I raised my hand and as, as a bully, I said, hey, we're gonna wail on these nerds, right? Because everything in my instinct told me that we were gonna wail on these nerds one day. It was gonna happen, it was just we were biding our time for whatever reason. It was probably a crueler reason that we were waiting. And every time I brought it up, you guys were like, no, Mike, they're doing internets. Mike, they're doing bitcoins. Mike, oh yeah, that's not gonna make me furious. Money wasn't fake enough before. We'll make more of it by running the Chevy Nova in the desert. That won't make me wanna, that won't make me wanna hit somebody just for wearing glasses. Yeah, that won't bring out the fucking rage in me. And I think a, a good ass whooping can, can reset things in you. I think that can be like blown on a Nintendo cartridge <laughs> for the right person. I'm coming up on 20 years of the, the worst, the 20 year anniversary of the worst ass whooping I ever got. I was 16 years old, I was at a bar, I was not supposed to be, and this bouncer came up to me, he goes, where's your ID? I pat around like I didn't know where I kept that sort of thing. Might have been a tell in retrospect. <laughs> Grabs me by my arm, and he goes, come with me. And I rip my arm out of his hand, I go, no. And he squares up on me like he's gonna hit me. And I go, I'm 16 years old. What are you gonna do? Beat me up? And he did. And I'm better for it. Not much, but better's relative. I'm a big sports fan. You guys like the sports? Yeah. yeah. I love sports. There's a lot about sports that's pretty silly when you look at it, though. It's like sports jerseys. That's pretty silly when you think about that, because that's just some young boy's work shirt. <laughs> right? You don't know that boy. Why are you wearing his, his work clothes? <laughs> Little weirdo. We go into a store. We go, hello, good sir. I'll take that young boy's work shirt. What do I have going on tonight? I'm so happy you asked. I'm going to dress up like this athletic young boy that I admire. <laughs> Gonna show up at his place of business, <laughs> cosplaying as him. <laughs> what am I gonna do while he works his shift? Glad you asked. I'm gonna get hammered. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell the boys who work at the baseball factory in the other city what disgusting little pigs I think they are. <laughs> so me and my dad have something to talk about. <laughs> I love sports, though, because it's the only bridge I have to really stupid people. It's the only way I can explain really complex ideas to really dumb people. And I was at a sports bar recently, and there was a gentleman, I use the term very loosely, but there was, there was a gentleman who didn't understand why catcalling isn't a thing that you should do to another human being. And I usually have a rule with verbs, and if it has an animal's name in it, don't do it to a stranger. <laughs> Don't cat call a stranger. Don't leapfrog a stranger. <laughs> Don't hog tie a stranger. <laughs> it's a great rule, it's yet to fail me. This jabroni, he disagreed. He goes, oh, if a woman's dressed like that, she wants attention. Very dumb thing to say. I look at this man, he's wearing his little football shirt of his favorite little quarterback boy. <laughs> And I did what I thought I was supposed to do, and I hurled him to the ground. And when he got up, when he got up, he's very upset. He goes, what was that for? I go, well, with the way that you were dressed, sort of asking for it, weren't you? <laughs> he didn't appreciate that. I told him he should smile more. I really hated that. I'm Mike Malloy, everybody. Thank you so much.